In order to understand tectonic hazards, it's important to see where such hazards occur. Let's look at the distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes. The Earth is split into tectonic plates, and these can either be continental or oceanic. The continental crust is thicker but less dense, whereas oceanic is thinner but more dense. The plates will move due to the convection currents in the mantle, and it's where these tectonic plates meet that earthquakes and volcanoes are more likely to occur. We call the meeting place a plate margin. If we look at a map to show the distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes, you should start to see a pattern. What do you notice about where such hazards actually occur? Generally speaking, earthquakes and volcanoes occur on or very near to plate margins, and you can click on a link in the descriptions below to take you to a map showing the latest tectonic activity. There are some exceptions, such as Hawaii over a hotspot, or even human activity such as drilling or mining. Knowing where these hazards occur will help populations plan for a future living with the threat from earthquakes and volcanoes.